I'm Franklin the Turtle. Before I tell you this tale, I must inform you that I'm not the most educated turtle. My storytelling is plain and simple. Don't expect anything glamorous. But if you care to listen, I'll tell you my tale. marriage last, one must obey their partner, no one being dominant over the other. One must have patience when it comes to love. The one with the most patience um, has the greatest advantage. One can't complain and whine about everything, but learn to endure. To live peacefully, Wayne promised to agree to what she says while she vowed to keep up her end of the deal. She accepted his offer to, to be her servant and lord. He now has his lady and abided by the law of love. Oh, Cassandra. <laughs> Baby girl, I just got a call to sail across the pond to go to England with Garth to film Wayne's World. Comes out in 1992 in theaters near you. Baby, I know it's going to be hard. But you're gonna have to do this without me. Alright, my love. Shadio. Enough about Wayne. Let's move on to Cassandra. Hi, Cassandra. Can we get you anything? Can you give me some more tissues? Oh, please. Come on, Cassandra. 
You gotta keep living your life and move on. It's not worth the tears. Have sympathy. Come on, it's pathetic. Be nice. After some time passed, the, the consolation that she received finally made an impact, impact and her sorrow was no more. She realized she couldn't let herself live with such grief. God, why did you put these rocks here? They don't serve a purpose to anyone. All they do is just kill people. I hope you keep my husband safe. These rocks are so stupid. I'm just crying over him all the time. Her friend re friends realized that standing by the sea only caused Cassandra sadness, so they did other things instead. They then went to dinner, then dancing afterwards, but Cassandra couldn't get her mind off of Wayne. In the crowd, she spotted one man that surpassed all others in both looks and dancing abilities. He was young, strong, and one of the most handsome men alive. Justin Bieber was madly in love with Cassandra for more than two years, but could never tell her how he really felt. The only way he could express his sorrow was through his songs. Baby, 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 no, my baby, 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 no. Baby, when your boy Wayne left you, I wanted to go away forever because I couldn't deal with the heartache. Please, baby, stay and tell me you'll love me forever, otherwise I will die from sadness. Is that what you wanted? I had no idea what your intentions were. I just want you to know that I always will stay faithful to my husband, and that's my final answer, young man. But, oh well, I will honor you with my love if you move those rocks. But you won't even give me my first real kiss? No, what kind of man takes advantage of another man's wife? But it's impossible to move the rocks. I will die without your love. Cassandra's friends caught up with her. Unknowing of what just occurred between her and Jay Beebs, he went back to his house, filled with sadness, but he got down on his knees and prayed to God. Apollo, Cassandra has forced me to win her love or die. I know that you can help me. Please send a great flood that rises above all the rocks of Brittany and lasts for two years. Please, otherwise I won't get my boo. Whoa, there's Abraham Lincoln! Charlie! Wayne returned home with his crew. Cassandra was ecstatic that her noble husband had returned home, although he had no idea that Justin Bieber had spoken to her about love. JB locked himself in his house with only his brother to talk to for two years. No one else knew of the matter. JB wanted it to remain a secret. His brother had no idea what to do about him until he remembered seeing a book about natural magic. No, my brother will get back to normal once I find a way to get this rock thing under control. There's no way I can get the rocks to move, so I think I'm gonna have to find a magician to remove the rocks for him. I know just the man. He went to his brother's bed to convince him to go to New Orleans in hopes of diminishing his sorrow. While there, they ran into a magician named Harry Potter. I know why you're here. Follow me. Harry took JB and his brother to his house to discuss in further detail what ailed Bieber. So are you willing to pay me for moving your rocks? A thousand galleons. A thousand galleons? With it, this hmm. offer, he was neither satisfied nor upset. Hmm. He could do it, but he wouldn't exactly be happy about it. If you it. don't keep your promise, I will send my fans on you, fool. Not your fans? Bloody hell! I will keep my promise. Well, it's past my bedtime. It's about 8 o'clock, so gotta get going to bed. Cheerio! Cheerio, mate! Mom, will you take me and my friend Harry to Brittany? Sure, honey. Don't forget your coat. I only do this because I pity you. Harry continued looking at the stars and calculated the exact position of the moon. The moon would create the illusion that the rocks would be gone. JB was still upset over whether he would have his love or not, even though the rocks had been gone for two weeks. 
thank you, Harry, for making all the rocks disappear. Thank you. Justin Bieber went to the church where he knew he could see Cassandra. Cassandra, I would die if I didn't tell you how much I love you, baby. I know you don't pity me, but just hear me out. I beg you, I beg you not to be break your promise. You promised me that in the garden that if I move the rocks, that you would marry me. I'm not worthy of that promise, but I did what you asked. You can go see. I never thought in a million years this would ever happen. After this encounter, Cassandra dragged herself home and continued ba bawling for two days. She told no one why she was crying due to the fact that Wayne was out of town. Oh God, how could you do this to me? My only two options are to kill myself or dishonor my husband. And I'd rather die than to, dis to dishonor my husband. I will follow in others' footsteps and kill myself. Cassandra was dead set on killing herself, no pun intended, and wept about it for days until Wayne came home and questioned her about her sadness. Cassandra told him everything. Is that all? What do you mean that's all? I'm gonna die. Well, shh, baby. I can't have you break your promise and live in dishonor forever. You're gonna have to go and marry him. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Sandra may be luckier than you think. Keep listening to the tale. One day, Justin Bieber and Cassandra ran into each other in the busiest street as she was heading for the garden, as she had promised. Oh, hey, Cassandra, what are you doing here? I'm going to the garden to keep my husband's promise. Justin Bieber was shocked and felt bad for, her, for not only her, but for her husband. He pitied the fact that she was keeping her promise and leaving her husband. He would rather be heartbroken than go against his nobility. Boo, tell Wayne that I see his greatness in your sadness. Because of that, I am willing to let you off the hook, baby. Because I'd rather suffer than break, break up the love you two have for each other. I give you my word. You are free of all debt. You are the most loyal woman I have ever known. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wayne and Cassandra lived happily together. She treat, he treated her like a queen while she stayed true to him forever. Now back to Bieber. I will thank Harry for all he has done for me even though I didn't get my girl. Crap! I owe Harry a thousand galleons. I'll have to give him the, my allowance for the rest of my life and I'll be completely broke. I have to leave this town otherwise I will shame my legacy. Justin Bieber went to his piggy bank and pulled out $500 and gave it to Harry Potter. Yo, what up, HP? Hello! Justin Bieber. Woo! I got a bigger figure! That's, uh, that's very nice, but I just want to let you know I've got 500 gallons right here. And I always, I always keep to my word, and I promise to pay you back, even if I, even if I have to beg for it. It might take me two or three years if you'll give me that. Have I not held up my end of the deal? Yes, you have. Did you not get the girl? No. And why not? Wayne would rather die than have his wife not be true to her word. I could see how much she was hurting, which made me feel guilty. So I let her go. That's it. You both acted like true men. God is looking down and is happy to see that both of you have acted honorably. You are free from your debt. I can't take a penny from you, and with that, good day. Jolly good. Biba Fever. I have one final question. Which one was more generous?